day on BRS TV's 52 FAQ, Refugiums on a Zeovit Tank. Is it worth it? Hi, I'm RT, your host of BRS TV's 52 FAQ, where we answer all kinds of reefing questions from our popular series, 52 Weeks of Reefing. This week we're answering John Owen's question from week 48. I'd love to hear more of your thoughts of using a refugium with the Zeovit system. Most everywhere I read says that the LG will end up dying. I was wondering how the BRS 160's refugium fares on the system. Quickest answer is the fuge plays a pretty limited nutrient reduction role on the Zeovit tank where there's almost always going to be very limited nutrients and because of that nutrient related LG or other related issues are a pretty big rarity. This has been true in our case as well. Even though we're pretty heavy feeders, the tank has zero phosphate and less than one nitrate every week. I'm pretty certain it would even without the fuge going. The volcano does grow but we've yet to harvest any so technically I would say the fuge hasn't completely removed any nutrients from the tank. So why do we run Run the fuge on the BRS 160? Well, I'd say the fuge has a few benefits. Nutrient reduction is one of them, both in nitrate reduction and potentially direct utilization of ammonia. In this case, I'd say it's more of a redundancy to back up Zeo on that element than it is serving that purpose. The fuge also provides a safe haven for microfauna like copepods and amphipods to populate and reproduce. A healthy microfauna population has a whole slew of benefits as a food source, cleanup crew, and even algae grazers. Lastly, on an opposing light schedule from the main tank, they serve to remove carbon dioxide from the tank via photosynthesis and keep the tank's pH stable. In this case, it seems to be cutting about a tenth of a point off the swing, but I'm hopeful that once the LG ball gets larger, we might see the pH swing further reduced or even completely stabilized. Honestly, the only reason it's working at all in this low nutrient environment is because of the powerful lighting solution we implemented with the Kessel Horticulture Light. Light's the number one factor with algae growth and we're lighting the heck out of the fuge with a spectrum designed for plant growth which allows it to rapidly consume what little nutrients there are. I think if we were using a $5 compact fluorescent bulb, the algae would probably just die like John mentioned in his question. So simply put, if you're trying to push the limits in a Zeo tank and utilize a healthy refugium, you're probably going to have to put some additional effort into the design and equipment, or it's likely going to have very limited to no value. If you're interested in learning more about refugiums in general, do yourself a favor and check out week 27, Refugiums, utilizing algae for a thriving reef tank. Don't forget, answering your questions is what the 52 FAQ is all about, so ask us something you want to know in the YouTube comments below, or if you prefer Facebook, check out the Facebook comments in the video section of our website, which is a great place to view the over 500 reefing videos we've released over the years. See you soon with the next 52 FAQ.